Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this video is to show you the calibration of the AB30, which is used in conjunction with the, the new Tail Beacon X that comes from uh, Uavionics. Uavionics. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we'll talk you through the process in, in a natural flight, flying through the figure eight pa pattern, and, uh, and we'll see how this goes. All right. All right, we're rolling. Okay, the first step that we have to do here is uh, get this uh, AB30 into a mode for calibration. And the way this is done is by disengaging the circuit breaker for the AB30, or you could do it on the startup sequence. <clears throat> I I'm, I'm chose to do it now. So, the unit is powered down. I'm now going to press on the button and re-engage the circuit breaker and wait until this gets through the start screen and by then it should have put it into the calibration mode which is a hidden screen that will only show up if you go through this process okay so it's starting up now so if i press this button three times one two four times in this case the install screen does show up which tells me when i rotate this fully to the right Bag cal shows up, so we're good to go. So I'm going to exit that screen for now. I know that that's there, and I'm going to have to reset my barometric pressure. Which is okay at 3024. And then I'm going to bring it back to the uh, screen for... for setting my... code so there we are we're in the screen now for setting my squat code and once I get that from the tower I'll set that and the AB30 continues to work in the proper modes uh, for the test flight even although it has been set into the uh, the functional mode for calibration hmm. so the next time uh, we talk I'll be in the air and we'll we'll go through the actual process of calibrating it and recording. Okay, we're uh, headed up into the practice area now at 3,500 feet. We're, we've established a stable flight here. Uh, now we're going to set this uh, AB30 into the uh, calibration mode. So what we're going to do initially is press this button once. That takes us to the edit fields. Twice takes us to setup. And third takes us to the install. In the install, we'll rotate this almost all the way to the right. And in that position, you'll see the mag cal. Once we get the mag cal selected, we're going to press to calibrate it. So now it's instructing me to fly for 10 minutes and execute two 360 degree turns in each direction. I've got the airplane set up and configured to actually fly two figure eight patterns and uh, with the new equipment that's on board, we should actually be able to uh, fly two of those figure eights in that 10 minute uh, period. So we'll just see how this goes. Okay. Temp number three. This is calibration test number three. And calibrate. We'll start to the left. Right to traffic at Gulf Coast Road, Romeo, over Hill Fire, 4000, heading towards St. Jacobs before heading back into the town. I forgot I can use the autopilot for the turn. Traffic, 
2,500 just over Schoenberg. Uh, we are westbound uh, at 2,500 for Orangeville. Well, if this doesn't work, there's nobody way that could, you could hand fly it any steadier. Yeah, I don't think so. You're right. Orangeville air traffic bound for this is about four miles south west of Orangeville at 2,500 feet heading southbound towards Duval Lake. of how the autopilot keeps that all pretty coordinated too. Yeah. Okay, we're back to, no. <laughs> to north. We're switching uh, sides. Yeah. Five knots, come out south of Linwood, Fort Rush. Traffic in the town of Silver Lake area is Piper Seminole Fox, Drop Papa Michael Tell. 4,000 heading back to Waterloo. Just coming up over kind of Silver Lake. Traffic in the cars for the Lake area, Ankyl Fox. So it's on the southeast side of Cost for the Lake, 4,500 over. The autopilot actually has no rudder control. Ah, there's our wake again. It, uh, but this airplane's got rudder trim. Ah, uh, yes. In the Grand Valley area, Oscar Zoo Delta, 4,500 feet or about 4 miles to the northeast of Grand Valley, simulated force approach. Oscar May have to do the circle twice. Mm. I think I'm going to be a little quick in my uh, rate of turn. Mm. But you've done one circle now, and you're doing the second, right? Yeah, we're doing the second in the opposite direction. Yeah. My flight, my uh, flight log will be on flight aware too. If you want to screen oh. print it, yeah. How would I look that up? So I go on to flight aware on my say my phone app, and then I just put in your registration. Yeah. And it's going to look like there was a bunch of drunken sailors up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're coming up on halfway through. Well, that's, that's good. We're, we're going to have to do at least another half circle based on... Yeah, yeah. What would you like, Jonathan? Where are you? Uh, Milverton, Bellbank area. Can I come? If you really need to. All right, we'll be on our way. Thank you. 
Okay, we're coming up on north again. Go back to the opposite direction. Dizzy yet? Oh, so far it's <laughs> pretty smooth pilot here, I'll tell Have success, third time's a charm. Excellent. So I'll just get a close up of that text, okay? Shelburne area traffic, Echo Papa Quebec is directly over. Done. Happy Gord, happy Gord. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Third attempt, calibration successful. And we were getting low on battery power, so it worked out well. So was that our third attempt or fourth? Third, right? Third. Third, okay. And last reported, I'm about uh, 